Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft Week Log Episode 9, I think. Here we play Minecraft Survive and we try to make these fantasy biomes over here at this place. You see, this is called the Black Desert Biome. You see in the background the nether portal and the black tower right here where I'm standing. This is what we did in the last episode. And I have a nice addition and watch closely the right side of the screen right now as I reveal what I've been doing. Not yet, not yet. Boom! There we go. There we go. You see, uh, right behind me, uh, those giant spikes. Oh yeah. Uh, that's what I call the dragon nest. And I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, let me know. Uh, and uh, right now behind me, uh, what you see is a mountain covered in netherrack. Yes, netherrack. Because it's uh, it's red and it's pretty easy to it's it's pretty easy to farm okay so uh let me explain so uh in the last episode we added these two points of interest if you ever played mmo rpg game yeah you have uh different points of interest on the map basically areas where players generally hang out and play and some enderman got <laughs> oh my goodness some oops luck okay I need to clean up after enderman okay yeah so points of interest uh, is uh, basically some statue or uh, tower or portal or in this case it's uh, the dragon nest yeah I thought it would be cool to have you know like an entrance uh, and you go like in the middle of these spikes and I love it and I love that the ground is uh, black wool and obsidian it looks it looks good it looks good I like it uh, and uh, the rest of this uh, black desert biome so far okay okay so far oops wait doesn't work doesn't work wait like this so far uh, is uh, just black wool but this is like I said I like to uh, make it like a blank canvas then put some layer on top of that which is in this case uh, black wool and then we're gonna detail it okay but then you are you are like what the hell is he thinking when doing this 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 netherrack giant mountain like what what the hell what why why would someone do that? So yeah, uh, let me explain. Here we've got the black desert one. It's very dark. It's very like depressing, maybe. Yeah. Uh, what am I thinking? Uh, this vanilla uh, color scheme really does not go with this uh, black black stone uh, color scheme. So I was thinking. Uh, let me do something that will be uh, very bold and will eventually turn out to be perfect and epic and I thought why not red uh, we've got uh, netherrack which is uh, easy to farm that's the most important thing I didn't want to build the sheep farm I'm very lazy about that so netherrack is pretty easy to farm a lot of a ton of uh, it's also quite nice texture it's similar texture to uh, the blackstone you have like these s stones if you know what I mean I hope you know what I mean and uh, same with the black desert this is just a first layer and we're gonna detail it uh, in the future I'm not sure if it's uh, gonna be in this episode because I've got uh, just uh, one day to make this episode instead of one week because I gave myself gave myself a little bit time off and the only time I've been playing I've been basically standing AFK somewhere here in this area to get some wool and then I made this black desert you know and the mountains but it's 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 still a progress but it's not as big of a progress as I would uh, normally do also this is 
basically the second biome we are working on, which is called Red Mountains. I think that's that's good. And I thought let's spread the Red Mountains a little bit over here. This is vanilla generated uh, biome. I have to clean up after Enderman. Jeez. Okay. Uh, what's this cobblestone uh, bridge thingy uh, going on here? Yeah. So I noticed that uh, the black, the black, the big red mountain over there. Uh, has this cool shape over here this U shape right in the middle this valley or how do you call it and uh, here this uh, cliff originally went up like this it seems right to connect this hill to that valley over there with some kind of bridge okay this is just to demonstrate what I was thinking this cobblestone it will be probably uh, a red uh, nether brick am I saying that name right I don't know and basically basically this will be the entrance to this red mountain uh, kingdom ah, I don't know okay uh, in progress it's still in progress yeah the idea is this hill here will start the bridge from some nether bricks uh, red nether bricks or something like that and go all the way up there and here will be something like a, like a gate some entrance over here and in this area in this uh, sand island uh, gravel kind of water area uh, here we will have another biome third biome yes uh, third biome and I'm thinking white I'm thinking I'm thinking this I know it's a uh, bird poop and everything it's diorite it's uh, diarrhea it's disgusting but I think if we if we mix uh, this one with white wool and maybe some concrete or maybe even clay and guys I've tested this in my creative world okay it will look uh, I think it will look very solid I think it will look good and here we will we will have sorry here we will have the transition to the black desert biome you see I've made this uh, line two more things that I have on my mind as I'm in this area you see I'm working on this uh, gradient over here this is uh, the water will not be here uh, we are working with desert here, so it's uh, it makes uh, almost no sense to have uh, you know river going around around this uh, around this mountain. So what we will have is uh, netherrack going into this black desert. This is, this is the gradient. Yes, uh, this is the edge of the biomes. See something like this. I had some spare <laughs> some spare blocks. Hey. I'm wasting so much rockets, Jesus Christ. When you compare this to that, oh jeez, I think this looks so much better. So much better. But it also uh, takes so much time and so much wool. Actually, this brings me to statistics. Let me show you how many black wool <laughs> we used. <laughs> it's 26 and a half thousand of black wool also the netherrack is kind of crazy too yeah but the black wool takes so much uh, more time to farm whereas uh, the netherrack is just i've got insta mine i've got insta mine easy 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 so yeah uh but the plans for the future is uh, decorate this biome and finish this up decorate this biome and finish this up and uh, start start that biome and maybe finish that up we've got three biomes already and on that note I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up right here right now on this black tower uh, I'm really happy how this area is turning out in the next episode uh, I think we need to make finally uh, at least start the sheep shearing factory farm and uh, make some make some 
Let's make some progress. Let's make some progress. Boys and girls, everybody watching, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit like and uh, consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, also, let me know if you have any suggestions, any ideas, uh, maybe what I should try out. Uh, I'm interested in some, uh, you know, weird uh, block palettes and uh, color combinations. Uh, so I'm open to everything. Uh, yeah, let me know and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.